Also held a press conference today, nationally known civil rights attorney Benjamin Crump joined the Tulsa legal team to call for justice. Two Works For You reporter Corley Peel shows us why the family demands charges against the officer involved. Corley. Brian and Karen, the family and their legal team say what happened here last Friday night was a senseless shooting. They say the video speaks for itself. It's, I just feel like I'm in a nightmare. I just want to just wake up and say this so I'll be over tomorrow. Tiffany Crutcher says she wants the police officer who shot and killed her twin brother Terrence Friday night to pay the consequences. After watching the video and, and seeing what actually happened, uh, we asked for the facts. We asked for answers and we clearly got it through the video. The Crutcher family's legal team says the video shows Crutcher walking slowly with his hands up. This man had not committed a crime. He was not approached because he was suspected of committing a crime. Uh, he was having some difficulty with his vehicle, and that's it. Investigators claim officers tased, then shot Crutcher after they said he reached inside his SUV. But that's not what the family sees. We saw that Terrence was not being belligerent. We did not see Terrence reach into the car. We did not see Terrence attacking the officers. They also say police were wrong when they reported where Terrence died. It was reported that Terrence died at the hospital. That is not true. Terrence died on that street by himself in his own blood. Attorneys especially want to know how one of the helicopter pilots could tell Crutcher was a big bad dude. Tiffany Crutcher says that big bad dude was her twin brother, a man she says police shot for no reason. I lost my brother, my twin brother, um, who was doing nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong. I truly believe in accountability. Crutcher's family says their loss is just the latest in a string of officer-involved shootings that killed people of color. They say they hope their fight for justice will lead to change across the country. Reporting live, Curly Peel, Two Works For You. Black Lives Matter Oklahoma also releasing a statement on the shooting. Reverend Sherry Dickerson says the organization is sending their condolences and prayers to family and friends of Terrence Crutcher. Members of the group say they're planning an assembly within the week.